I've never done this before, so probably gonna do a really bad job, and they're probably just gonna be like, what is this kid doing? But either way, it'd be fun anyway. If I screw up, I screw up, whatever. Hey you, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today. And yesterday I was just editing and stuff and then my next door neighbor ended up like coming over. She runs the Newport Film Festival sort of thing. Like I don't think she runs it, but she's like a really big part in it. She knows that I do a lot of YouTube and filmmaking stuff. So she thought that it would be good for me to go. I asked her if I could like bring my camera and stuff. And she's like, oh, I don't know. It's pretty like professional kind of thing, but I'll see what I can do. And so she messaged a couple people and then they came back to her with a press pass for me. So now I can bring my camera into the actual festival and I get to go onto the red carpet. But the only thing is, I don't have anything to wear. When you're on the red carpet, you can't be wearing like Crocs. And you look better than this. In this car park around like vlog nine, I was like just starting to drive over here because I was getting my American driver's license and I was driving with you and you freaked out. Oh. No, so where are you going? What? I'm going straight. Don't go so fast. I'm not going fast, yeah, mom. It's, it's just not comfortable. It's not smooth. Oh. No, you need to go to the right lane. Oh, got a green light. Why are you going down here? What do you mean? Go, you go straight ahead. You said get in go the right the lane. lane. Oh, that doesn't sound like me. Am I a good driver now, mama? You're an excellent driver now. Oh, darling. You think I'm as good as Daniel Ricardo? Oh, you're better. Yeah. Easy. Um, easy. Yeah. I'm so bad with shopping. Whenever I go shopping, it's always just like a one-off time. And I just do as much as possible and just get it done. But I think that it takes more energy out of me shopping for clothes like this than being at Coachella for three days partying straight. Don't you reckon? No. When I did my Q&A yesterday, I got other people to send me videos and all the videos, 99.9% .9 of the videos were from guys. What are your thoughts on that? Girls don't rate you. Why do girls not like me? <laughs> what are you trying? <laughs> Even you? Do you not watch my content because you're a female? No, I like your content. So you're I'm actually a, a male. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get the right girl. It doesn't matter about girls, just get the right girl. What's <laughs> There's literally signs about this festival everywhere. What's the match cup gonna be today? Should I just go? <laughs> you don't know what a match cut is. You're probably thinking like, what is this guy doing? What is he? <sighs> How's this look? I don't think I've ever felt so entitled in my whole life. I look like a French f boy. I'm a little intimidated about this whole process because one, I've never been on a red carpet before. Two, these people are going to be like pros. The only reason why I'm actually able to get onto the red carpet is because when they can say that there's an influencer, freaking hate that word. It helps with their like festival and everything if I tag them. I'm just gonna probably like watch them, like watch the photographers and see how they do their thing. And I'm just gonna like, just be this little amateurish person just hiding away. And it's just gonna be, it'll be interesting. But first of all, I need to get my press pass and I actually don't know how I'm gonna get that. Secondly, like once I get the press pass, I don't even know where to go after that, like how to get to the red carpet. So this whole thing is just a big kerfuffle. A big kerfuffle, that's what it is. I also don't know whether I'm actually able to bring my whole camera bag or not because or else I'll take up a lot of room sort of thing. Oh man. This is way too big. You've got all people around you. you, know, you it's... Dad, I'm going on the red carpet. I can't yeah. put my lenses in a camel pack. What? What do you mean, why not? It's a camel pack. This is for water. No, it's not. There's no, it's just, it's just a case. Yeah, I know, but like, it's a camel pack. It's a nice, light, slim case for you. You can't wear that to the red carpet. That's what I'm saying. That's probably more appropriate because it's professional. This whole vlog is a bunch of first world problems. What do you think, Mom? Do you think I should have a camel pack? Or my proper bag. I can't get into that. That's all your options you need. Let me see. Um. All right, fine. Don't you hate it when you lose an argument and you think that you're actually you're absolutely right? 
especially with your dad. Thanks for your help, dad. No problem. I was right again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's the time? Oh shit, it's 4.30. Alright, I gotta get going. I need to get there before 5 o'clock. Far out, this always happens. Do you know whereabouts I can get my press pass for this, or do I ask someone over here? Uh, you have to ask one of them. Okay, thank you. It's over there. Once they set up, it's over there. Are you there? Okay, thank you. Are you Australian? I am. Just as I expected, I went in there, and they just saw me as the biggest amateur in the world. It's mint. <laughs> nah, I love being amateur. Who cares? Who cares? Hayden Pedersen. Oh, you were from, uh, you're all set. Here ah, you go. Thank well, cool. you. Thank you. The back row people are kind of effed, so you want to get here early and like get in closer. Just find a spot, get in there and say hello. Because this was like a very last minute thing for me, I don't know anything really about the films and stuff. So oh, if yeah, I. You never do. Yeah, well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> because like if I was to do a QA, and a I don't know what I would say. You say yeah, you just say, you know, tell me about your project. Yeah. Like, what's it mean to you? You know, why, like, why are you here? Like, set the scene. Because this film showed at Sundance, and I think this is the second festival, so it's kind of it's oh, no fresh way. in the cycle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Be aware of actors when you ask them open-ended questions, because yeah. they will talk your whole battery out. You know? Really? Like, yeah, just those, talk forever? because yeah, they love cameras. They don't, like, most yeah, people are like, oh, I'm shy, and they're like, oh. Yeah, they just, like, <laughs> eat it up. Yeah, I'm the exact same. So I've, like, shot documentaries before, and I'm so used to asking open-ended questions, so maybe I'll just like keep yeah, yeah, it to yeah. like a little bit of a yeah. minimum. Tell me about your film. Yeah. What are you doing next? Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't even started and the photographers are already getting bossy. Gotcha. All right, hold it right there. Eyes right here, ready, one, two, and. So, the red carpet, that was, it was interesting. I guess the cool thing about it is like you feel like really legit and really professional. It really feeds your ego big time. You, you feel like you've made it when you're on the red carpet as a photographer, even though I wasn't actually taking photos there. I was thinking about taking photos, but then looking at all the other people, they all have flashes and doing event photography, I knew that in that situation with the lighting and everything, the lighting was not good with just natural lighting kind of thing. Like I needed a flash for the photos to turn out half decent. So I just abstained, abstained, re refrained? How do you say, uh, abstained? I, yeah, I abstained. <laughs> I abstained from taking any photos. Okay, I'm never using that word again. I just kind of stood back and just watched the other photographers do their thing. I found it really interesting how competitive the photographers were. You can imagine with like a whole bunch of like maybe 20, 30 photographers all in one spot, they all want to get the shot. They're going to be like, hey, like look over here, look over here. No, no, look over here. And then like the actors and like all of the other people on the red carpet were looking at them. They would literally like look that way, then that way, then that way. And it was just chaos. When I do my photo shoots, I like to have my own space. I like to be able to think creatively and stuff and taking photos of other people in these kind of situations. Like, I, I just feel like it doesn't exercise my creative juices enough. That's why I go out and take photos of flares and stuff. I really respect the people that take photos there. Like, you have to definitely have thick skin and be able to like push people around and stuff. All right, question of the day. Do you pay the models in your videos or do you just take their photos and send it to them? By the way, love your vids. Thanks heaps, man. I don't pay them at all. If it's just a random person, I'll just go up to them and I'll just be like, look, like I'm a photographer. Can I take a photo of you for my Instagram? And then afterwards I do send it to them. More like professional kind of shoots where I take, where we take them out to like different locations and stuff. I still don't pay them because it turns out that usually it's like a friend of a friend kind of thing. It's never really like a serious kind of professional setting, like all of my photo shoots. It's all just a bunch of fun. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing it's up to you you know what to do it was awesome hanging out with you again and i'll catch you next time